finally, we have got conclusive leaks that give us all of the specs on the new GoPro Hero 13. So if you've been watching my previous videos, you'll know that the GoPro Hero 13 is quite an upgrade over the 12. And now Igor at Quadro News has done it again. He's leaked a much higher definition, clearer image of the GoPro Hero 13 box. And there is a little surprise, something that we couldn't quite make out in the previous leak. And that new leak we'll come back to later in the video. So for those of you that are wondering whether or not it's actually worth the upgrade from the 12, let's do a quick rundown of the new features. So first of all, we have a new heatsink on the front of the camera. That's gonna dissipate more heat and also help with the new, more powerful upgraded battery. So the batteries are gonna be bigger, your older batteries are no longer gonna work, but they've been slightly redesigned and it looks as though everything has been designed with heat management in mind as well. And with this new powerful battery, we might get more powerful features, one of which we'll be coming to shortly. Another difference on the front is that the glass screen has had a bit of a redesign. So opposite side to the lens and the heat sink, we now have a longer glass portion that goes further down. One of the first major leaks that's just really good news for most people is that GPS has returned to the GoPro main lineup. We have GPS now available back in the GoPro 13. It was taken away with the 12 because of what they claim to be heat management issues. And some people believe it might be a money saving cost cutting measure. We have GPS back confirmed. Thank you, Igor, for confirming that for us. And if you want to upgrade and check out the official release stuff and a link to the best price, then make sure you check down below because I'm gonna have a link to it for you right there. So we now have a HLG, HDR format. So HLG is uh, more in keeping with like television standards. So that's a really nice little feature, if that's useful to you. One of the other standout features was that we now are gonna have a lot more lenses that we're gonna be able to utilize with the GoPro camera. Now, you might not want all of them. You might not need an anamorphic lens, but anamorphic is really cool. You're gonna be able to stretch out the image, take in a wider field of view and create nice cinematic shots. Really cool. Um, we're gonna have ND filters that are designed and branded GoPro officially, rather than the partnership with Polar Pro as we've previously had, which is interesting. We have the new macro lens, which is gonna allow you to focus very close to your subject. So for some really interesting shots, that's gonna come in really, really useful. So if you wanna have blurred out background and something that's very close to the lens you want in focus, like a little insect or something, really cool. And we have the ultra wide lens, which is the Max Lens Mod 2.0, um, it looks exactly the same as far as we can tell. Just slightly renamed. So the anamorphic lens is likely to be a 1.33 squeeze, which is a standard sort of anamorphic squeeze to get the image squished down like this. So the image will come in squished in and you'll have to either stretch it out this way or squish it down this way to get it into a standard looking image in your post-processing. But I'm sure the GoPro is probably gonna process it within camera knowing GoPro, so that'll be fun. So it's also gonna auto detect when you put on different lenses, which I think is quite interesting because maybe uh, with ND filters, it can sometimes affect the stabilization. But if there's some auto detection going on, hopefully the algorithms are gonna be able to really clean up the image with ND filters on so it still stabilizes really, really well. That'll be good. One of the big standout features is there's gonna be a special burst mode, which is gonna allow you to record at 400 frames per second. 400 frames per second. That's gonna be highly specialized. Uh, and this is something we couldn't really make out on the older leaks. So we've got to confirm now. It will do 400 frames per second in a burst mode. Now, granted this is 720p, so the resolution is not gonna be amazing, but it will look probably acceptable on sort of social media and stuff like that. But it's a sign of things to come. So hopefully with future generations of the camera, they'll be able to up the resolution on these higher frame rates. And I'm excited for it. I think there's a time and a place to use these really super, super slow-mo things. And um, we know it's popular. There's a whole massive YouTube channel with millions of subscribers that does just slow-mo stuff. So I think they're still going, the slow-mo guys, are they? The new mounting system is gonna allow you to quickly disconnect the GoPro for those sort of less secure required f uh, shoot modes. 
But the great thing about GoPro is you're still going to be able to fold down those fingers and have the most secure mounting system out of all of the action cameras. So that really does set it apart still from the DJI and the Insta360. So on the back of the box, it does say Enduro battery. So that's confirmation. That's interesting to know that the new batteries are also going to be named Enduro, which the previous generation batteries that were called Enduro were named that because they would operate better in cold and hot environments as well. Because often batteries perform worse in a cold or hot environment and they usually like to be sort of in their normal uh, operating environment. GoPro released an updated version for their previous cameras which had white ends, which was the Enduro battery. And so now we've got confirmation that this new one also has that technology within that's great, we're not losing any more of these features. So when the Go when GoPro 12 dropped the GPS module, there were a few people upset. There were claims that people don't really use the GPS, but for me, I haven't often used it, but when I wanted to use it, I haven't been able to. And that's been a bit of, a, bit of a frustration. So I'm glad to see it back. I don't wanna see features getting lost in newer versions of the camera where possible. So why should you upgrade? So say you have the 12, um, if you want GPS, upgrade. Um, if you want to utilize these new lenses, they're probably not going to be compatible with the older cameras. You're going to want to upgrade. Um, if you want better heat management and longer battery life and a higher frame rate of 400 frames per second, which is going to be insane, um, then upgrade. If these features don't interest you, then you probably should stick with one of the older cameras. Or if you're still looking at upgrading, maybe pick up a GoPro 11. Uh, that's going to be even cheaper now, and that will have the GPS module in. 11 is pretty solid camera, so you get the taller sensor still, like modern ones. But what about the DJI Action 5? Now the Action 5, from what we know so far, it's not much of an upgrade over the Action 4. It's a very minor one, and there's no news on any new accessories or anything like that, so nothing particularly exciting in that world so far. So maybe the GoPro bringing a lot of heat. I think they know that this year they really need to put out the stops and having all these really cool new accessories and, and lenses. For me, it's a convincer. I mean, I was probably likely to pick it up anyway. Yeah. It's looking pretty good for GoPro this year, I would say. How about the rumored Ace Pro 2? We know very little at the moment. Um, for me, I think what I'd like to see with an Ace Pro 2 is for them to have sorted out the doors. So on the battery door, it was too easy to knock it open, I thought. Both, both of the doors on the camera were a bit too easy to accidentally open. Um, and so that made me less secure with taking it in the water. Uh, and that was one downside. Other than that, it had better low light than the other two cameras, um, a better app experience, lots of fun AI features. It was a powerhouse of a camera. So if the Ace Pro 2 can sort out those little niggles I've got with the first iteration, then they're gonna have a solid camera, but we don't know anything about it yet. We don't know when it will come out. Maybe this month, maybe the month after, I don't know, it's just a rumor at this point. So if you're not in a hurry to get the new camera, you can wait, but otherwise check out the links below. So we're gonna have a link to the brand new GoPro Hero 13 with some best prices we can find. We're gonna keep upgrading it. And as ever, we'll see you on the next one.